Hi, boys and girls. So quickly, we're going to do some um, special sounds and the two new words that you're going to learn today. So what I want to review is the three sounds of EA. I always get mixed up on how to hold these. It doesn't matter how many times I do this. Okay, so EA can say A in steak. So we hear A say its own name and the E is silent. A in steak and great and greater and greatly and yay and break and steak. And EA can say E in leaf like in a mouse word, right? So E says its own name and the A is silent. E in leaf and but eat beat each read breathe grease peanut peanut okay and the last sound that we really want to focus on today is ea can say can you see that ea can say ah like in thread so e is making its short sound ah 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 in sir eh, d. you'll see that on your seat work today boys and girls because the new word the new sight word that you're going to learn well one of two is this word and do you see what i did with the ea i made the e have its short sound i put a smile over top so the word is er eh, red red and then y says e on a two beat word ready ready so the pattern when you clap it and snap it is consonant vowel vowel consonant consonant so it goes clap snap snap clap clap can you do that pattern with me clap snap snap clap clap ready okay let's spell it while we clap it and snap it r E A D Y. Okay, what if I cover up the the Y? Now it just says red. So you just have to remember what makes the E sound on the end of ready. Okay, you're ready to try it? Ready to try it, get it? R E A D Y. Good for you, you got it. Okay, let's cover up. D. So now all we can see is r, a, r. We have to remember the D part. Ready. Are you ready? R, E, A, D, Y. Did you get that? Okay, now I'm going to cover up E, A, A in thread. Okay, I'm going to cover up that whole thing. I'm going to use this card. So all that's left is R says er. So you have to remember what says a, which is E A A. Then you have to remember the D beat on the end. Are you ready? Let's try it. R E A D Y. Did you get it? Oops. Okay, now let's put the whole card down and see if we can remember it. Ready. Three, two, one, go. R E A D Y. What does that spell? Ready. Let's read some other eh, eh, eh words. So you'll have to remember ready on your seat work today. Ready. Are you ready? Let's look at some more words that have eh in thread. Bur eh d. What's that? Bread, like on your sandwich. O S P R. What does that say? Can you say it? Spur, a, d, spread. Hey, bread and spread. They rhyme. Er, a, d, read. I read that book. That can also say read too. But because we're practicing a in thread, this says read. Can you try this one? Bur, a, breath, breath. I took a breath. Okay, this is a two-beat word. You have to make Y say E. Ev, E. 
heavy. Heavy. Did you try it with me? And the last one? Ed. Head. Okay, read all the eh in thread words with me. Ready? Bread. Spread. Red. Head. Heavy. Breath. There's a lot of rhyming words on that card. Good job. Now the other word we need to practice has this special sound in it. I-N-D, ind and kind. And the reason this is a special sound is because if you were to look at that word, you might say, well, that's a regular word, so I says if. Eh. But then it would have to say kind. Is that boy being kind to that boy? No, he's being kind. So you have to remember I-N-D says ind. Ind and kind. What are some other words with ind? W ind, wind, rind, rind, f ind, find, m ind, mind. Now you read them. I'm not going to say them. You read them. I'll point you read. Ready? Did you get them? Wind, rind, find, mind. Good job. So what's the word that has ind in it today? This word. I think we saw it maybe when we did our position words on our math paper. So there's the first beat, B and because, B, and then look, there's ind. <sighs> ind, hind, be hind, behind. I sit behind Bobby at school. Behind, let's spell it together, ready? B E H. I N D behind. If you were to clap it and snap it, what would it sound like? B E H I N D. That was interesting. Clap, snap, clap, snap, clap, clap. So there was a bit of a pattern there at the beginning, wasn't there? Let's try it again. Ready? Clap it and snap it. B E H I N D. What does that spell? Behind. Okay, let's cover up the B part. Can you spell it without the B part in front of you? Let's try it. Three, two, one. Ready? B E H I N D. Behind. Okay, let's cover up the B E H. No, we're going to do it this way. Let's cover up the IND. IND. Can you remember that I N D says IND in kind? Let's try it. Ready? Three, two, one. B E H. Do you remember ind and kind? I N D. What does that spell? Behind. Good job. Let's just spell it one more time. B E H I N D. Behind. And then let's practice the other word. What's this one? Do you remember? Remember this says F in thread. Ready. Ready. Let's spell it one more time. R E A D Y. Ready. Good job. Now, when you get to your seat work today, you'll need to read a story. And the story, oh, look, story has Max the monkey and Sally the squirrel. Okay, look at the top, see? There's the word ready, and there's the word behind. Okay, and at the top it says, E-A can sometimes make the short vowel sound of E, which is E. Example, I read, read the book yesterday. I read the book yesterday. So go ahead and read the story. Carefully answer the questions. On the back, you have to read the sentences so that you can put the events of the story in order. Circle the picture. Circle the word that names the picture, and then here you're doing RBM. So all you do is mark the vowels. Whoops, can you see that? All you're doing is marking the vowels for these words, boys and girls. And then you put R for regular word, B for bumper, M for mouse. Okay? Good job. Thanks for listening. Bye.